Starting with the paving group in the Photoshop file, we can go ahead and turn on all of these layers and rasterize them. Click the first one and press shift, click the bottom one that selects all of them, then right click and go rasterize layers. We can turn off the bottom three, we'll deal with those later. First we're going to work with the wood deck. And we don't need the whole wood deck, so use the marquee tool to select approximate square region. Then press shift control i to select the inverse and just delete it. Control T to transform and hover your cursor over the corner and you'll see it turn into this curved cursor. That means you can rotate. So rotate the file and let's change the opacity just so we can see through it a bit. I'm going to move it to the corner of the deck. Zoom out a bit using control minus. Then we'll go to edit, transform, distort. Start manipulating the corners to match the perspective, just like I've done here. I'm going to move it a little higher than where it actually is in the drawing, just so that I have a bit of an area to select to cut out. Use the lasso tool and select this deck area based on the sketch. Then go back to your wood plank layer, turn it on, and create a layer mask. That cuts away all of the extra bits that you don't need. Click back on the texture file and press Ctrl Alt U to access the hue saturation. Turn off colorize and let's just desaturate this wood deck a little bit. Okay, next we're going to draw in this edge here. We will use the polygonal lasso again to create a selection area that matches up with the edge. Create a new layer and name it F Deck Edge using Edit Fill or Shift F5. You can fill this region with 50% gray. Now we have a bit of a shaded edge here. We want to put a concrete texture on, so turn on the plaster bare layer. Just duplicate it because we're going to be using it again for something else. Control T transform to reduce the size. Move it in place. And now let's use the distort command to get this into the right perspective. You can move that layer up. And let's use control click on the F deck edge layer. That will make the selection of the edge. And then we can create a layer mask on top of the concrete layer. Put that down to 65 and overlay. Then we'll put the deck edge down to 85. I think we'll pop that into a group called deck. That's going to make it easier for us to manipulate the deck as an entire entity if we need to later on. Okay, let's work on the background plaza. First, turn on the airplane hangar paving layer. Let's cut out the background that we don't need with the polygonal lasso. I like this texture, but I don't like the stains and the wheel marks that are on the concrete, so I'm going to use the Content Aware Healing Brush to fix this up. All you need to do is click and drag, and the Healing Brush automatically selects the content to fill the area with. You can resize your brush by pressing the Open and Close parentheses, so just keep doing that until you're happy with the way that the texture looks. Let's duplicate it because we're going to use it again in the future. I'll pop the opacity down so we can see through. Resize it so that it fits the plaza area in the background. And now I'll use the polygonal lasso to cut out the shape of the plaza. Then create a layer mask on top of that concrete layer. Now you have the plaza. I can see along the left edge there that I want to add in a little bit. So just make another selection. Make sure you're on the layer mask. Press the B for the brush tool. You can just brush in the extra concrete. Now we want to make a little wall that's going below the concrete. Let's turn on this plaster bare layer, resize it. We're not going to use it for anything else, so we don't need to duplicate it. Move it in place so that the striations on the concrete kind of match up with the wall. Pop that down to 65 so we can see through. And just like the plaza, we'll use the polygonal lasso to draw in the shape of the wall and use that as our layer mask. So put that back up to 100 so that we can see it. Bring it right underneath the plaza. Then I'm going to duplicate it, pressing Ctrl J, and put the top layer on Multiply. I'm going to erase one side of this so that it looks like we have a bit of contrast and shadow. All you have to do is click on the layer mask after making a selection and press Delete. Now we have a shaded side and a lit up side, and I'll reduce that to about 65%. So now let's make a group for the background plaza. Again, just so we can keep everything organized and we know where it is. Finally, let's create the path that's going through the site. Use the polygonal lasso to create a selection roughly over top of the path that you can see from the background sketch. Double click to finish off your selection. And now let's go up to 
select save selection and write in path make sure it's a new channel and press ok anytime you want to refer to this path shape exactly as it is in the future you can go to select load selection and it will bring up the path so let's turn on the airplane hanger concrete layer again resize it here so that it fits the entire path area that we have great so now we can go to select load selection from the drop down list choose path and you see that our selection pops up right there click on the layer mask and now we have a path let's turn on the last concrete layer let's go to edit transform distort and distort this into an approximation of the perspective that we want control click on the layer mask of the path below and click layer mask on the other layer now let's set this to overlay at 65 percent I think that these uh, striations here need to be lightened a little bit, so let's just put that down to 85%. I think that's pretty much it for the paving. Let's put these two into a group called Path and save our file.